It's so good. <laughs> it's got a full animation. It's animated itself. It had the He's gonna snap. I get to snap. Death is zero. Oh my gosh. This is the card. This is insane. Yo, what's up, everybody? We got a brand new location in Marvel Snap. It is Lamentus One. I might be mispronouncing it that. I apologize, okay? These are these are difficult terms. But this location is sick. Draw three cards, destroy both decks. Okay, that might be incredibly uh, toxic eventually. You know, after playing this for 48 hours, seeing it in your games a lot, not being able to play your full deck that you brought to the table. I understand that. But it is fun. I played a few games. It was really cool to experience this location. And I think I got some sneaky cards that can make a huge difference in your games. Okay, so real quick, one of the things I got to mention is that I believe that Enchantress and Cosmo, okay, might be some of the best cards to tech in this week. They're pool one, they're going to deny a lot of what your opponent wants to do, and they're only going to have so many cards, right? So if they're doing an ongoing deck, well, you're only probably going to have at most seven cards at your disposal after this card has been revealed, this location, right? So if you can Enchantress a few of those ongoing abilities, there's a good chance that you're going to win that game. And same with Cosmo against On Reveals, right? It's also worth noting that you can play cards early, right? And then benefit from the draw more. If you don't play any cards on turn one and two, you will then have five cards in your hand and this is going to draw three, meaning you will only draw two where your opponent might get additional resources, right? So it's, it might be worth like flooding in early in turns one and two and just so to maximize your benefit from this draw. But check out these cards, okay? So these cards are nuts. So Leech. You never get to play Leech. When do you ever see Leech, okay? And I'm not saying he's a good card, but he works out here because as you might imagine, your opponent only has the cards in their hand to play with. They don't have a deck. So if you remove the abilities from all of the cards in their hand, well, that's going to suck for them and they might just straight up get out of there. Uh, if you can even ramp into Leech, if you have access to Electro, Psylocke, Magic, these cards that uh, make the game a little bit longer or let you play later game cards faster, then that's even better because you can get Leech out sooner and make sure they have even less abilities to play with. Scorpion, I think, is a great pick here. Just, you know, give the only cards they have negative one power. He's a huge swing anyways, and you know they're going to draw. So if you Scorp right after Lamentus hits, you're probably hitting like six, five cards, right, with negative one power, and they only have those to work with for the rest of the game. So that's a huge swing. But the crown, the queen of the week is death. Guys, if you're in Series 3, or if you just got into Series 2 and it shows up in your token shop, buy Death. It's one of the most fun cards in the game. It's one of the best cards in terms of like flexibility and being thrown into a lot of decks. And there's a, like this ongoing destroy meta that keeps happening with Marvel Snap. I noticed that they really start to push locations that benefit destroy. She's always going to have returning value, a worthwhile purchase. And in this location, the cards that are destroyed in your deck count towards Death's discount. That's insane. In the few games that I played on this location, she costed zero every time. Every time. So who doesn't want a 0-12? If you have Moon Girl, I actually think that's a sick combination. I have the deck here that I'm going to get to in a second. But, you know, if you have Moon Girl, you get Moon Girl with death and then you play Moon Girl, you get two free deaths. That's insane. Like, that's a worthwhile combo in its own right. So yeah, I just really, really highly recommend Death. Okay, but now the other card that I have a hard time recommending because it's a Series 5 card, but it is sick for this location. It's so good. It's so much fun. That is Galactus. So if you got real lucky in your token shop, if you've been playing this game for months and you accumulated all the Series 3 cards and you're looking for those Series 5 cards, Galactus is not only fun, not only the mascot of the entire game, but he is perfect for this location, okay? So the whole combo with this deck right here, I've been running this on ladder with pretty good success, is you basically want to ramp into Galactus, play him on turn five, 
right? Destroying the other two locations. Uh, maybe even get a goblin at that location so they already start on the wrong foot. And then you're going to destroy everything and death's going to be free. You can play death with Iron Man on turn six. And you're probably going to get Wolverine thrown over there, a free saber tooth in your hand. You play all that good stuff at that location. You get probably well over 30 power every time and you're in a good spot. So the reason I think Galactus is perfect for this location this week is because your opponent already lost their entire deck. It got destroyed, right? So if you play Galactus at a free location, right? It has to be an empty location and your opponent committed resources, two, three, it doesn't matter. They only have maximum, like I said, seven cards to work with. If you destroy three of those that are at elsewhere, other locations, they're in a real bind to find enough power to beat you with your death combo and your saber tooth and all that good stuff. So it's just, it's just so good. It completely limits your opponent's options and will probably ruin them. Now, this worked out. I played some games. This combination, it did happen quite a few times. Um, but one time, I absolutely got rocked. <laughs> and it was really funny. It was even the dream hand, the dream scenario. And it did not work out the way I had thought. So I'm going to get to the games. I hope you enjoy. And I'll catch you guys next time. All right, let's go. Let's get it. New location. Sound effect. Animation. That's what I'm always looking for in these new ones. Oh, we get Galactus and Death. Now, I... It's so good. <laughs> it's got a full animation. It's animated itself. It had the, he's gonna snap. I get to snap. Death is zero. Oh my gosh. This is the card. This is insane. I might even run moon girl. Oh my goodness. This is a wrap. I don't know what he could possibly do. He's gonna agent 13, put cards in his hand. It's not even, it's not even a problem. Sinister London. We get two Wolverines out. That might clog up my hand or my board space a little bit too much. I don't even want to. I just want one Wolverine. Then we'll play Sabretooth or we could play Green Goblin. Cards here have plus five power. Not interested in doing that. A wave next turn. All right, let's put Green Goblin here. Oh my gosh, this is insane. He's going to get double Goblin, but it doesn't even matter. The second one's irrelevant. Thor. That's a good combo. That's a good combo. Thor with Mjolnir. Okay. But bro, you do, you're running out of space to play good old Mjolnir there. Because we're about to wave. <laughs> This is so nasty. If I had the Iron Man too. This combo already was nasty, but this is insane that death gets discounted to zero. She's by far the best card this these next couple days. By far. There's no way she's not. Iron Heart coming out. That's that's nice. It's good for him. Say goodbye to your friend. Oh my gosh, Galactus. Sounds gonna destroy all the things he ever cared about. Oh my god, that card. See you later, Jane Foster. Why would you do that? It just draws. His deck is empty. He already drew Mjolnir. Oh, this is going to be a retreat in four cubes. This poor guy. I get to play death for free. Wolverine goes there. And I can throw out Sabretooth for four. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's done. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing. No. Mjolnir is not enough. And whatever else you got. Devil Dino maybe? No shot. You got three cards in your hand. It's a double Mjolnir. It's not enough. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You got both hammers out. But not quite there. Okay. Okay, this might be Galactus' uh, place of residence, let's, let's say. And death. The two of them. And Leech. I think that's just hilarious. That's why I got him in this deck. I think that's just too funny. It, it might not happen. All right, let's go do it again. Let's do this again. I love the animation and the sound effect. That was clean. That was really good. And that was on the first location. Oh, Death's Domain is awkward. Um, I'll throw out Nova over here. That's fine. We have the nuts, actually. 
we do have the nuts. This is a, this is pretty good. Anything else we draw is just extra bonus, but we have the ramp into Galactus and Iron Man is a real nice turn six. It's gonna blade. Lady Sif, see ya later. All right, let's show it to me. Oh, Oscorp. No! Not Oscorp. Say it ain't so. I might have to give him a scorpion as well. He's going to give me blade though. That's kind of good. If he can't destroy the Nova, it's actually a win. Maybe we just scorp over here. There's a crazy world where I could actually maybe... Nah, we're just going to scorp in there. We're just going to scorp in there and get it destroyed. Because I need to know what that last location is so I can play Galactus. That's what matters. I could still get the on reveal at Death's Domain, but I don't have anything reliably that I can play there um, to salvage power at Death's Domain. And if he's doing what I think he's doing, ooh, that kind of hurts. If he's doing what I think he's doing, he might be uh, doing a Hella deck. And he could play Hella at Death's Domain, get it destroyed, and all, this, the, all the summons go there. Gotta be aware of that. Gotta look out for it. Okay. What do we draw? Goblin, Sabretooth, Wolverine. That's pretty good. Oh my gosh. It's it's good. It's pretty good. Okay, now we have to do this. I have to start ramping into Galactus. And I actually will give him the 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 ongoing effect of you can only play one turn. Which is nasty in its own right. Oh my gosh. I want to snap, but I want to play this through. Electra on the no. Oh my gosh, this must be a bot. This is new season vibes right now. Anytime there's a new location, new season, it's going to be bots. Not new location, but like at the start of the season, the first location, it's like very apparent. All right. Goblin seems just so nasty, but I mean, it doesn't everything else. Even the Sabretooth seems especially nasty because it'll get 8 from the Iron Man. That seems just better. That does seem just a little bit better. And I can play Wolverine. So we pretty much just go like this. And then we Galactus and we Iron Man. Oh my goodness. Are we serious right now? Uh, see, this is the best part about new locations. You just start to discover crazy combos that might have already existed, but become that much better because the location enables it. And it just lasts a short little time. All right, boom. Galactus at Lamentis. Lamentis? Lamenti? Lemon one? Galactus turf. That's what it is. Even the animation of Galactus, his look, and then the location, it all just synergizes. I don't know what the lore is, though. I don't know the lore. Maybe it is. It looks like an apocalypse of sorts. Okay, Wolverine's there. Yeah, you got me with the rocket. Not sweating it, though. You do got me on power right now. But that's okay. Alright, what do you got for me? You got two cards. I'm going up to 20 power. So he needs 13 to beat me, which might be possible. Bishop is not it. Ant-Man is certainly not it. You're not even close. That's another four cubes. Back-to-back -back games. Oh my gosh. The, the problem I have with this is a lot of people aren't going to have Galactus. And that's a bummer. Because I feel like he's so good with this location. If you are in Series 3, you have to get Death ASAP. Such a good card. Oh my gosh. I want to keep doing this. This is too good. Oh my goodness. This is it. Elysium. That doesn't really do much for me. In fact, I don't even want that to be the last location. When, like, as in when I Galactus, I don't want that to be standing, right? Okay, we whipped his hand, slapped him around a little bit. We get a monster. I can mess around with that. Okay, we do get Galactus. We don't even ne need to technically ramp at this moment in time, right? This would get me to four. Don't need it. This gives me just extra energy, though, and that's probably a bonus regardless. So we will do this guy. Okay. Okay. Is this the location, though? Is this our brand new featured location? Lament is one. It is. Draw three cards. Death. Death one time. Leech! Death! 
Oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. It's too good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is disgusting. Oh my goodness. I'm going to disable his entire hit. Seven cards. If he only plays one card. Oh. My days. Oh my goodness. This is too much for me right now. Is he going to just leave? Is he confused? He doesn't understand the location. It's new. No, he plays one card. You just lost six abilities. Leech. Oh, Leech. Oh, and he electrode. Oh. He might be doing something crazy with Electro, though. Let's be real. This, this could backfire, I, I suppose, but I'm, I'm willing to double down on it. I don't even care. Oh, he plays that Lamentus. No. What's it going to be? He's just, he has no abilities. He has no abilities. He only has power. And I got, I got a decent amount of power. Dr. Octopus? Doesn't happen. Wow, I actually gave him that benefit. Okay. Let's see what you got, buddy. This is my this is all the power I got. Actually, let's hold on. Let's not okay, let's let's hold on. He could technically Shang-Chi me. Actually, let's just pass. Let's just see what he's got. Okay, what do you got? Infinite. Okay. <laughs> this is this is backfired. <laughs> Why, why, when I get to finally play Leech, my opponent is playing Dr. Octopus and Infinite? Congratulations, you win the game. You can have two cubes. <laughs> oh my gosh, you had Black Panther and Black Widow. Well done, sir. Okay, so that didn't work out. <laughs> but I think if my opponent was running almost anything else, think about it. We would have had 16 uh, for 20 power, right? If he didn't have those two cards that benefited greatly from my combination that I bestowed upon him, uh, maybe we would have been all right. Maybe even I, if I didn't Galactus, would have been all right. But who cares? It was fun. That's how it is. Uh, so that's the new location. It is sick. I like this. I like this location. It's hilarious. Draw three cards, destroy both decks. I do believe it is categorized as rare, so you won't see it as frequently. But it's animated, looks cool, and it's, I like it. I like it. I think this deck is pretty good. If you are in pool one, this might be tricky. This might be tricky to find a deck that works with this over your opponents. Um, because there's not really that same synergy that you find in pool three, series three, right? Um, but if you can, try to get death as soon as possible. I think that's a huge winner for this location. And Galactus, I mean, if you got them, you got to try this out. It's too much fun. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.